I'm going to show you how to remove an object, people, or distracting stuff from your footage. If you're new here, I'm Allie, and Will and I release weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials as well as gear reviews. If you're into that sort of thing, subscribe for the latest. Now, let's hop into Resolve and get started. I just gotta say that you might have an easy time with the techniques I show you, or it might not work out so great. It really comes down to the footage and the thing that you're trying to remove from your shot. In this first clip, we have a woman running and we wanna remove these people in the background because why are they there? Now, this clip has a very slight zoom, but it's basically static. And these people are small, they're in the background and they're not moving around too much. So it should be pretty easy to get rid of them. We're in the color page and let's first create a mask by going to our power window and choosing the pen tool so that we can draw a custom shape. Let's zoom in and we will start drawing around them. Just connect this here. Good, good. Let's go into tracker and I just want to point out that since these people aren't really moving too much, we can stick with cloud tracker and cloud tracker doesn't use as much processing power as the second option I'm going to show you in just a bit. Okay, so next hit this double arrow to track our mask backwards and forwards. Let's add a second node by pressing option or alt S on your keyboard connecting the blue to the blue. And with our second node selected in effects, search object removal and drag it onto our second node here. Hit scene analysis. And sometimes you'll see this show up here. Sometimes your object or your people will just automatically disappear. So next let's choose build clean plate. And there you go, the couple's gone. Let's press P on our keyboard to view this full screen. Very nice, that did a good job. Now that clip was pretty easy to work with. Next, let's remove this moving car from this drone moving shot. Zoom in here and draw a mask around it. Okay, go into tracker, click on this drop down menu. And I usually find changing this from cloud tracker to IntelliTrack does a better job for moving objects. Just note that it will take a bit longer to work its magic and use more processing power on your computer. So let's track back and forth. Press Alt or Option S on our keyboard to add another node. Connect the blue to the blue, drag object removal on the second node and click scene analysis. Choose build clean plate. Okay, looks like the car is gone. Let's just watch this back. Ooh, things get a little wonky here. So I think we need to make our mask a bit bigger. To do that, we can select our mask node. Let's zoom in here. Just click on this anchor point and move it out a bit more. Move these ones out a bit more too. Okay, let's retrack. And let's check this out. All right, object removal did a great job removing that car. So there you go. That's how you use object removal in Resolve. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to know our favorite gear that we use on YouTube videos, as well as commercial shoots or our favorite hard drive, because it's super fast, super small, and super portable, check out the links below. Have yourself a lovely day and we'll see you in the next video.